last topic for today let's talk another <clears throat> kind of not cinematic experience but let's talk some shows um that i've been watching recently so we'll talk about one that lady and i have been kind of binging together and then one this past week i've delved into uh but first off lady and i have jumped into bob's burgers we've been wanting to uh, meaning to watch it for a while uh, but we finally <clears throat> started from season one and started watching i think we're in season five or six right now uh over on hulu and we've been having an absolute blast with it i mean i've i don't have a lot of history with the simpsons um but from the little bit i have seen it has that those similar elements to that show in terms of like obviously the weird dynamics of the family and the kids and <laughs> just the shenanigans they get themselves into um but i will say something that i do really appreciate about the show is the continuity that they surprisingly have you'll run into characters and do little stories with them in one episode and then you may see that character down the line in another episode and they'll still remember or bring up past events not like oh you have to see everything but they'll reference how they have a history and how they have tension or something they did really well together it's just something i personally appreciate because it's simple it's small and it just allows these characters to kind of grow um throughout the se the show instead of just being individual plot plot by plot episode by episode like short narrative which is fine obviously for episodic tv um and they still do that but it's just that little extra layer of spice of like oh yeah this world is constantly evolving even if the kids aren't getting older and like <laughs> these other big life events aren't necessarily happening but it just allows the world to be fleshed out more and more um yeah it's been really fun and uh entertaining to jump into it uh just the stupid situations that these characters get themselves into and how they react to things like the kids are absolutely insane um with uh louise and tina and jean like seeing the chaos they get to them uh, themselves into at school or outside of it um it's just been a lot of fun so glad to that we've jumped into that obviously we have a lot uh more episodes to go and i think the show yep show is still going i think they had a movie at one point or at least they were working on it i don't recall if that's still a thing that might have ended with the disney buyout or whatever um but yeah a lot of fun with that show if you need something just to kind of turn your brain off sounds bad but just something to cut loose with um it's it's goofy and stupid but i don't feel like it overdoes it where it's gonna push you away type thing i think it's a good balance um with the elements that they do tell now the other side of the coin <laughs> going from animated to live action something that i've been i've jumped into recently um it's been out for a little while and i've heard a lot of good things but finally decided to give it a try ironically after fall guy just because i was on prime uh but it finally started the boys um now for those of you guys who don't know the boys and what that is about let me see if i can find a synopsis <clears throat> superheroes are often as popular as celebrities as influential influential as politicians and sometimes even revered as revered as gods but uh, but that's when they're using their powers for good what happens when heroes go rogue and start am abusing their powers when it's the powerless against the super powerful the boys head out in a heroic quest to expose the truth about the seven and Vought, the multi-billionaire multi-billion dollar conglomerate that manages the superheroes and cover up covers up their dirty secrets based on the comic book series of the same name so yeah i jumped into this i am almost done with season one and I'm absolutely loving the show. Um, having a great time with it. I knew a little bit about Homelander, uh, just seeing like the memes about him and the gifts and whatnot, and then also him making an appearance in Mortal Kombat 1 coming up. I was like, okay, I kind of know a little bit about you. You seem like this power crazy Superman type character. Uh, but other than that, I knew nothing about this show. And going into it with that blankness <laughs> for lack of a better term uh was very rewarding so 
Speaking of spoilers from earlier, if you don't want to be spoiled on the boys, like me, and just go in blank, maybe take off. This is your time. Peace. Um, I'm not going to give like the full story stuff that I know right now, but I'm going to talk about story elements. So, just want to be fair to that. Um, so, yeah. We get introduced to this world where the superheroes exist um and as the synopsis kind of said like everything seems hunky-dory and like oh superheroes are great and people are loving them and having a great time and like you know stoked about them right and they can do no wrong and as the story or as this first season is kind of unfolded you kind of learn of how dark and twisted some certain things are like how twisted in creepy ways and twisted in like what <laughs> the really obscure ways that some of these characters are and you learn how Vought which is like their PR fund like superheroing is money right and they kind of try and twist certain things in terms of like their stories their angles like there's writers for the superheroes there's PR teams there's video teams that will capture them doing the right thing and if someone does do a bad thing they like have all these lawyers are trying to cover it up and they want to be like these perfect specimens beings and whatever and the seven are like i guess just the seven representatives for Vought. they're like the best of the best at least from what i've i've seen um and how the story gets going is you follow you follow two perspectives um and you see the superhero side of things and you see the normal citizen like scenario and i would say the normal person is probably where more of the focus is but in the uh the character's name is huey and his story is he's just an average guy he's working at an electric electronic shop he has this relationship with his girlfriend for i don't know how long and they meet up after work and they're talking about their lives and like oh maybe we're gonna move in together and like they seem really happy and they share a moment together um outside and while they're doing that and they're holding hands she gets killed by a superhero and huey's just standing there just takes that all in and this hero doesn't stop he doesn't apologize he just he's on his way he's on his merry way and does his thing and this is huey dealing with like what has just happened to him and how robin i believe her name is has passed and he's trying to like deal with those emotions and like try and get some type of um justice for her and like punishment for that hero who was just out and about and was saving people when there was nothing going around are going on at the point and <clears throat> you follow this journey with him in this kind of rogue gallery of like ex fbi agents i believe um who want to take down the supers or have like negative opinions about them and seeing huey's journey in terms of like just this happy-go-lucky dude and his I wouldn't say he gets corrupted, but there's definitely, like, you see the challenges he comes up against and, like, what barriers he breaks down for himself in terms of getting the justice he thinks is right for her. So you get his perspective, and then you get the superhero perspective where you get Starlight, who's, like, this up-and-coming superhero. Uh, she's been saving people in her town and helping them but she really wants to be part of the seven she wants to really be part of something bigger and help people out and she tries out for the team and she gets accepted and you see through her perspective how scummy some of the people are um and just seeing the situations that she has to deal with like learning how the seven aren't super nice some of them <laughs> at least from what i've seen and how shady they are um, and then seeing like the PR side of things and how everything's very fabricated and it's not just like, oh, we're going to go save the day when something happens. Like crimes are fully not fabricated, but, um, like studied and 
like there's a whole team of a security team like on cameras and on police reports and whatnot that tell them like oh there's going to be something that's happening here like this crime group is getting together or whatever and then the heroes just show up and take care of it so they can get good footage of them make money through the company and whatnot and go on merchandising sales and do movies and shows and all this and you get to see this through her perspective and realize that along with her like this isn't something that she actually wanted she wanted to do right in the world and seeing her deal with that um and seeing her character grow it's, it's been a really fun ride to see these characters grow and see what they're going against like i said there's certain times where it does get really weird <laughs> and it's almost comical um but it just also just adds that layer to these characters of like how deranged they actually are um or like psychotic in a way um so i've been enjoying that and it's one of those things like fallout had this a little bit and i haven't continued with fallout since the first episode not in a negative way just me taking in things like <laughs> whoops um i don't know if it's an amazon thing i don't know if it's a streaming service thing but this show does get very violent at times but just like there's a lot of heavy subject matter and it gives you ample warnings at the beginning with those writings it's no joke um but from a violence standpoint it's not excessive in terms of like the amount of violence in terms of like uh, what's the term for it um the amount of times it happens it's the <laughs> the excess of gore there is not anything gross i in my opinion obviously that's a different radar scale for everybody but it's almost comical and the amount of blood that just happens <laughs> at times during fights like if someone's gonna get stabbed you're gonna they're gonna rip stuff they're gonna whatever if someone's gonna explode it's just red like it doesn't happen a lot but when it happens it's like jesus christ so if that's not your thing i just see be be careful of that i would say it's very telegraphed when those things or moments are going to happen so you could try and avoid those um but yeah, it gets to a point where it's like, yeah, like I said, almost comical because it's like, what? Way too much here. Way too much. Um, but the story's been really good. Like I said, I'm on season one. I want to say I'm episode five or six in. Um, and thinking, like, I know where this story's going. And then seeing more elements be revealed to us, the audience, and the twists and turns that we're going on. Like, the show right now, I believe they just put out season four. I could be wrong. Um, but like seeing that and knowing there's a spinoff show as well obviously the show's done very well for itself I'm like where do we even go with this like not in a bad way I'm more like it's that intrigue like they got me hook line sinker of like let's go you're on this journey I, I'm really interested to see where these characters that they've introduced and I presume more characters because we only have the one super group like are there other agencies around there that just maybe aren't as successful is every superhero a dick bag are there some good ones like starlight and then we'll get something there how are our normal jabronis gonna handle anything uh seeing what they try and do <laughs> to deal with the super people uh is interesting um but yeah knowing like there's a lot ahead of me it's like what stories are we telling here is this going to be one giant narrative or is it going to be seasonal stories type thing and arcs um yeah just looking forward to it so yeah if you guys like superheroes or just like that a really good narrative like even if you're not a superhero fan i would say give it a try it's on prime so if you got it you know try it out see what you like um but yeah uh, like i might watch more tonight i'm like that stoked <laughs> looking for, like just thinking about it like yeah well, it's a lot of fun so I don't know, but that's what I've been doing since, uh, you know, the last podcast we were here for. Um, so yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out. If you got any thoughts on any of these games, shows, whatever, movies, let me know down below. What are you watching right now? What are you guys really diving into and enjoying? And 
what should I check out? But this has been another episode of the Wait, What Are We Talking About podcast. My name is Brett, a.k.a. Enigma911. I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with us today, giving us a watch, giving a listen, you know, all that fun stuff. I uh, appreciate your guys' patience with me with the hiatus. If you guys watched the first topic today, thank you for doing that um, and taking the time to listen to me vent. Um, but, yeah, looking forward to getting back into the streams uh, over on Twitch weekly and then doing these podcasts weekly as well. I know we've talked about guests, guests, guests. Something I need to reach out and actually do. Just one of those things like, eh. <laughs> you know, get back in good routines and stuff like that. But I do enjoy these conversations with you guys. Uh, just talking about, you know, what kind of media we're taking in. What's good, what's bad, what's not. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to do this. Uh, or check it out. If you guys ever want to catch the podcast live, you can always go over to twitch.tv slash enigma9011. You can drop a follow over there. You'll get notified when we go live so you can join on the fun, chaos, and conversation with us uh, most of the time. Uh, but if you can't catch live, that's A-OK. Go over to YouTube and podcast services the very next week where it's broken out topic by topic and puts one big video and MP3 for your amusement on the following Friday. Last but not least, any way you can support the show, like, shares, reviews, whatever it is. It may seem small, but it does help the channel grow. So if you take the time to do that we would love and appreciate you for it once again guys thank you so much for spending your time here giving this a watch giving a listen and i will see you guys on the next one take care